Hello and welcome back to Harvestella. Time to continue our journey and let's go talk to Crest because we got a follow up relationship quest here. Here, have him try this. I made it in pill form, but there is a sol soluble one too that you can dissolve in water. That might be easier for him. Thank you so much. Oh, Shala. Do you mind waiting? I'm with someone at the moment. Anyway, that's about it. Give it to your brother and let me know if anything changes. Sure. Uh. What's wrong? Is it okay to keep going on like this? It's got so bad that he can't walk on his own and he sleeps all day. He even looks pain when he's asleep. Dr. Cress, be honest, my brother can't be cured. That's the truth, isn't it? Well, that's... The other doctors take one look at him and refuse to help. They say he's too far gone. All I can do is stand by him and watch his suffer. Look, you've been honest with me, so I'll be the same with you. The quiet is incurable. There is no recorded example of anyone recovering from it yet. But I'm not about to back down. I will fight this disease. Do you mean that? Trust in Cress and your brother. Okay. I'm sorry for being so harsh. It's, it's not like I'm a doctor or anything. You're his family. I'd be surprised if you acted any differently. I will do my utmost to create a cure. So please, just wait a little longer. Okay. Thank you for supporting me there, Shala. Neither of us wants to give up. Outbursts like that really aren't all that rare, especially from a family member. And it has nothing to do with the quiet. Everyone's the same. We all want to put help, but sometimes there's nothing we can do. That's why we have to do everything in our ability to reassure and support them. But do I have what it takes? Nobody's been able to find a cure for this disease yet. You still have to give it your all. Thank you, Shala. I needed to hear that. I'm not the type to give up easily. If there's a solution, then it's the doctor's job to find it. Even so, it's hard when there hasn't been a single development made. All we need is something small, but until we find that, my hands are tied. Your parents looked into it too, right? Well, my dad did leave some of his research materials behind. But I already looked through them in all years ago. It all years ago. Didn't find anything new. It's too late for that. What if we read one more time? I guess it has to be worth trying anything at this point. Okay, then. I'll go through my parents' findings again and see what I can find. One pair of eyes should be enough. Why don't you go home and get some rest? You don't need my help? There's a lot of technical language in there that you wouldn't understand. It's fine, I've got this. If I find anything, then I'll let you know. I'll be counting on you to bring me any new materials I might need. I'll speak to you later. Okay. It seems to me, you know, like all the research she's done on her own now, maybe mixed with her, her dad's research, maybe she can come up with something. Something she didn't really think about the first time she read the notes. All right, anything else here in town for quests? Not right now. All right, uh, I think we're gonna go head down to Chitola. Actually, while we're still How's here in the left, we need to get an upgrade. Time to get this thing upgraded. Oh man, this thing's all level one, level two Braca's sniper rifle. Strike a sacred weapon. All right, we're gonna upgrade our pro shades. <laughs> we're almost out of money because of all the seeds I bought, but it's gonna pay off. Uh, so four for every stat. It's really good. Nice. All right, we're not Jeez. spending any more money. That's all we can afford. All right, and actually, I don't think we're gonna go to Shatola. I think we're gonna go to probably Arjean. Actually, I, I think I'm gonna stop at Silent Cave first. 
go do that. All right, we're back here in uh, the Divine Seas Light Cave. I was going to go to Silent Cave, but I think given the state of the town, it's not letting me uh, work that quest right now. So we'll come back to it. All right, so let's go get that shortcut unlocked this time. So that's clear. Got a crit. Nice. Uh, that was the right way. It really matters. Woo! Slidey ice. Let's hope we get some more good stuff here. Ice, stone, and clay. Boo! Want some more gold? Need more gold! Ah! Ah! Yeah, it's big. Okay. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Alright! These things are super weak. Yeah, I gotta go back that way. I gotta finish clearing that way. No way I'm letting it sit. What? Okay. So I think that's where we gotta go. So we'll come back to that. Gonna make a way past the sphere over here again. I'll do my best. Is everyone all right? Hey, you. All right. Okay. Wait for this guy to move out the way. Are you really going to fight it? No. Of course not. Don't be crazy. All right. Bridge unlock here. Never have to do that again. Uh, did we go down here? Oh, yeah. There was something on the ground there. Okay, uh, we got a plant to pick up here. There's a mushroom and a cool berry. Right. Oh, pepper, nice. Those are um, those are hard to come by right now. I don't even. I feel like I haven't seen the option to grow rebel peppers yet. Okay. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that guy's dead. Deleted. Okay, we got a water thing there? I'm still surprised there's not fishing here. Seems like that's be a place where we can go fishing. Oh, we need to freeze the water here. No, this one is frozen, never mind. Maybe we can freeze the other one. Stop cotton. We got a fear straight up blocking over here, so we can't get by him. Well we can. Are you really going to fight it? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up. I'm going to just sprint past him. Grab these chests. Ah! Okay. Good. Run. No, just leave me alone. Go away. Okay, he's reset. What did we get? I didn't even see. I was in such a hurry. Chili plant seeds. Oh, nice. For winter. Okay, cool. Makes black pepper when processed. What do we process that in? Base ingredient for black pepper. The many cr small kernels are harvested from inside the pot and useful as used as a condiment. I don't even, I can't think of what machine we'd use to break that down off the top of my head. Oh, I'm out of stamina, shoot. Um, go ahead and have a mountain surfer then. I kinda hate using it this late in the day, but. Gotta fight! Is everyone over right? Oh, did I miss him? Did I miss something over here? I did. Okay. Must have grabbed it only once. Large iron ore. It's good to get that because we still need more of that for our workbenches that we gotta make. Our level twos. Oh, this thing's here. What the hell? What is this? Search. Oh, it froze the fear. Yeah, it froze that body of water. That's what I thought. The winter monolite activates and the environment changes. Nice. That was this right here, right? Yeah. Okay. What's up here? There's another shortcut. We don't have another repair kit for that. Oh, it doesn't take a repair kit? Okay, that seems odd, but I'll take it. 
we're almost out of time here. We basically are out of time. But we got our shortcut unlocked, so that's good. Alright, let's go ahead and just head back. Call it a day. We're out, our inventory is actually full, anyways. Alright. Sort inventory. Alright, time for bed. Another level. Nice. You guys work pretty good XP, actually. Right, nothing new there. Actually, the lemon jam. 505 for lemon jam. Okay. So that's not too bad. The profit over three lemons to make it into lemon jam is 220. It's not It's not great. It's not terrible. Either way, it makes it worth more than it was before. He has sold his footprints. Check letter from Heen. Ooh. Okay. Need a follow up to the. Uh, that story. I gotta make another return bell real quick because we used our bell up. Do we need another repair kit, I think? Yeah, we need another repair kit. Okay. It's good there. I think we got everything we need. You're looking chirpy for this time in the morning. Take care out there. Take care out there. All right. Oh man, all of our moral corns up again. Okay. Time to take care of this. We got a letter though. Let's take the letter. Keen, thank you for everything. With your assistance, I have finally completed my modifications to the Fiasola. I cannot thank you enough. Without you, there's no imagining how long this would have taken me to do alone. Once we have procured the necessary supplies, it will be finally time to head to the ocean floor. We should be able to catch up to her now. Thanks for everything. Signed, Hain. Okay. Gotta go back to Shatola to meet up. Alright, seems good. Farm time. Alright, we're back over here in Coral Shrine to follow up one of these other quests. Shala. I'm so sorry for calling you here so suddenly. No need to apologize. Thank you. I'm taking a break from singing after what happened. I'm not sure how I can face the people of Chitola now. Perhaps it would be better if things went back to the way they were. Perhaps before I never arrived. You've been dwelling on this a lot. Shala, I... I can't go back to Chitola. My presence will only remind the people of Lorelei. But if I'm gone, maybe it'll finally give people a chance to forget her. A chance to move on from their hardship. That may be for the best. I knew I had to leave Shatola someday anyway. I'm not like them. Humans and sirens can't live together. Our parting ways came sooner than I would have liked. But I should still leave nonetheless. Is this how you really feel? No matter what I do, it's already too late. Even if I try talking to them, they won't understand. If I so much as mention Lorelei. But everybody loves you. But... You can connect both humans and sirens. Me? You, you want to do right by both. Shala. Mother, walk beyond this dream. Shala. I love them all, the people of Shatola, my family, the sirens. And that is why I think I know what I can do. I have to at least try. I think I'll get through to them this time. I'll help everyone in Shatola understand. About Lorelei, about the sirens, about me. I'm not ready to give up yet. I'll help you however I can. Thank you. I'm going to give it my best shot. Cool. Getting close to the finale there, too. 
All right, I think we are heading uh, back over to the dungeon. Everything else seems to be gated behind the current main story. Uh, all we do have Shatola, meet Hain and Shatola. Let's go do that. Heen. All right, we back to Heen. I've loaded enough fuel. That should be everything. Yes, all good to go. Now I'm ready to depart. Hey, Shala, good to see you. What are you doing? Uh, hmm, yes, uh, I was preparing to depart. Now that we've finished improvements to the Fiasola, there's only one thing left to do. You're really going to the seabed? Right, I've already come this far. Shala, thank you for coming today, but I can't take you with me this time. I'm sorry, you can go home if you want. I'm coming with you. You! Ha, of course. I thought you might say something like that. But, I want you to stay here. Where I'm going is a place even Fiasola herself never came back from. The voyage is, the voyage is do or die. I'm ready to risk my life for it, but I can't put you at risk too. I'm always out there risking my life. Shala, are you sure? Besides, I'm sure she's still alive. Hey, you're right. We can't assume she's already gone. I said it myself. I'm gonna get that silly inventor and bring her back to Shatola. That's spirit. Let's go, Captain. Please refrain from calling me Captain. I'm nothing more than an inventor. Anyway, I'm sorry, Shala. I underestimated you. I won't do that again. Come on, Shala. Let's start our journey to the sea floor. Fia Sola is ready to go. Get on board, Shala. Hell yeah. Down, down, down we go. Current seems quite gentle around here. Oh, let's take a break here, Shala. You anchor the Fia Sola in place. Why, why are we taking a break? Don't we really need to get where we're going? Come down pretty deep. It would be. We've come down even deeper than the Coral Shrine. And we still got more to go. Do you have a destination in mind? No. To be honest, I don't know where we're going. All I have is the plan that Fia Sola left behind just before she set off. All I can do is follow the route and hope she's at the end of it. But the seas have their own currents. I don't know how much I can trust this route to take me to her. But that's all we've got, so we'll follow diligently in her tracks. We should stay vigilant. vigilant. Right, good thing you're here to help me look out. All right, break's over. Let's dive even deeper. Starting to see some, sound some hole integrity. Uh, what's wrong? Shola, look! The rocky stretch over there, doesn't it look unnatural to you? The shape, it looks like it's been shaved off. Feel Sola's submarine must have been through there. The ship probably scraped past it and broke off some on the rock. She probably went that way. We might find her submarine. Uh, let's leave it for today. Time to go back to the atelier. Why? But why? Before we continue, I want to research the tide in this part of the sea, where all the rocks and crags are first. Although I'm sure much material exists on these depths of the sea. I'm not sure much material exists on these depths of the sea. In such uncharted waters, it's better to be safe than sorry. We don't want to rush in unprepared. Sorry, but let's head back to Shatola. I guess. The name of safety and all. Ah, 
I'm free. Feels so good to finally be out of that submarine. I'm going to head back to the atelier and rummage around for any reference materials I can find. When I find something, I'll write to you again. Until then, that's all. See you next time, Shala. I think I still got a ways to go on that one. It's a tag. Mechanics. What? Oh, that's probably another one of those. I think that's another weapon upgrade stone. It's gotta be. Alright. Alright, alright. So. I think that's it for Shatola for now. Yep. Alright, let's head over to uh, back to the dungeon. On we go! Alright, let's pick up where we left off. Alright, so we got... I think we didn't repair that over there or did we no i guess not so over there by that big crystal we switched i don't know which side we got to repair that from all right well let's head over there not sure if i should go up to the north here and check that first or then come around it's kind of hard to tell the shortcut we have is right here though That was one of the things somewhere. I don't remember what it was, though. I wonder if I have to hit that thing again. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so that one's unlocked, which was our first shortcut. That's good. Got some more stuff to gather here. Okay, it looks like it is from this side. Perfect. Ah! Silly gnomes that think they're goblins or goblins that think they're gnomes. I don't know what you are. So do I need to hit this thing again? All right, let's go ahead and fix this. Or maybe it froze that guy. Yeah, I think it, fro oh, it froze that guy. Okay. So that he stops harassing us. I wonder if it's temporary. Uh, I gotta run over here real quick. I gotta get this. I gotta check this mineral node. I need more gold ore. Delphony! Destroy you. This right here is what I want. Nice! Two gold ores. Heck yeah. Good stuff. All right, so I think we need to go. Let's check over here uh, to the north and see where this goes. That might be a slope right there, though. We might not be able to follow that. No, okay, that's just what we needed to pass there. Okay, there's another frozen boss, dude. It's actually blocking the way, though. Interesting. All right. Here I go. Bye. Man, we're we are overpowered right now. That's for sure. All right, let's keep going. Check out this shiny. What do we got? There's a small tunnel by your feet. You find something interesting if you check inside. You might. You crouch down to take a look inside the tunnel, but the moment you crouch down, your foot slips and you tumble over. Your health decreased. All that, and there was nothing inside the tunnel anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, you always gotta check. There's just, there's just no choice in the matter. Aw, oh, miss! Oh my god, this ice is making combat hard with melee. Is everyone alright? Okay. Nothing over there. This circles back around. I mean, that's where that boss was. Okay. Or the fear, rather. Alright, we want to be careful not to fall down here. Another shiny. Oh, bomb wall. Nice. Okay. Blow that open. Do it back here. 
curry herb seeds. Hey, nice. I think we need those for the, the next season, right? Uh, where'd they go? Oh, here they are. Yes, summer, fall. Oh, right. We don't have the cave. Hopefully, we'll have that soon, though. At the cave farm. Chest. Nice. Small ice core. Okay, so I missed the whole area back there. I think we'll, we'll just end up going back to it. I'm not going to go back now. It's kind of too late. Go we'll back to it, because I'm sure we'll have to come back here at some point anyways. All right, time to delete, you guys. All right. Is everyone all right? <laughs> I need to heal. I wonder if we should get another save thing before a boss. I'm pretty sure if we get one. Or whatever event we're ha having to deal with. Okay, what's ooh, this is like cool. Look at this. What is this? Floss indulgentia. This is the thing? So this is where they were propagated. Shrika. Did you ever ask the patriarch about these flowers? Floss indulgentia above us. Azals us of our sins. Humans are both sinful creatures. Humans are born sinful creatures. Quietus was born from that sin. The flower purifies us and the land. The more you say it, the shit here it sounds. Of course, even his most devout worshippers didn't believe him at first. They would whisper about the strange flower Patriarch was study suddenly trying to voice on people. But when the seas light changed and the calamities befell the city, people will cling to anything for salvation. His oracle would prophesize a disaster. Just like that, it would occur. It saved hundreds of lives. In time, anyone not seen embracing the purity of the Floss Indulgentia was rumored to be tainted. People were frantic to own one, and before they knew it, the flower became more important than prayer. But I couldn't believe that our faith would transform in such a way. Faith is in prayer. It buds from the wishes of the heart, not something you pin to your clothes. But what was I to do? The human heart is fickle. It's always searching for an easy solution. Meanwhile, the floss of the gentia spread throughout the holy city, but nobody knew its true purpose. So are you going to finally tell us what that is? You don't, you know, you don't. Don't you? Shrika, I have one question for you. Those that have been left behind, are any of them wearing that flower? Come to think of it, no, they aren't. Anyone who hasn't been wearing a floss on indulgentia is still in the city. How could this be? I thought as much. You think the floss indulgentia has something to do with this? If it did, explaining it here would take a horribly long time. Just go and see for yourself. All truths are waiting for us, for you up ahead. How, how, how do you know that? How do you know that? What are you hiding? This is really cool, though. Very pretty. Progress. Activate the shield confinement. Okay. Another whole area to explore here. Oh, we got regular combat with these guys now. Come here, buddy. Here ah! my best. Oh, he confused me. Oh, man, he hit me. All right. So, uh, what about sword? Eh. Another bridge over there we got to fix. Okay. I need some help. Uh, let's go ahead and just have a mushroom bowl. Thank you. Get some salmon back too. Oh, it's gonna be a monster, isn't it? Flowers are blossoming all around. They seem to be growing in a cons conspicuous patch, all concentrating around here. Examine them? Yep. You approach the flower patch to have a closer look. A vine monster suddenly appears, spreading poisonous pollens all around. You've been poisoned! To make matters worse, the monsters also attack! Okay. 
Well, so much for those guys. I don't have any poison cures, but eh, not really too worried about it. Just have a juice. Just drink a juice, you'll feel better. Alright, we got uh chest up there, if I can get up there somehow. Come here! Get over here! Okay, jump up here. We gotta go over here so we can get this chest. Oh, there's a little dude over there. Whee! Okay. Ice orb recipe. Do we want to go down there? I feel like there's something over there. I don't know if I... Is there something over here, though, actually? Oh! This path goes back to where we started. I'm gonna go check this way. No, that's way. That just goes back down. So that doesn't help us at all. We gotta go down here. Is a little annoying? What? I haven't tried some of those newer weapons, but I'm kind of content with what I have so far. I'll have to try them out at some point, though. Uh, let's switch over to the spear. Oh, man. Smash! Oh, I'm getting low on health again. Die! Sparkly powder! Those guys drop the sparkly powder. So let me know what that's for. I need to know what all this crafting stuff is for, because I have no idea right now. You don't look so good. Oh, I totally whipped that. Push yourself too hard. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I thought I could survive that, but I was wrong. That's okay. <laughs> we just lose some time. A little bit of money, not too big of a deal. I sold some garlic, made some money there. Five days until quietus. All right, we're going to get lectured by... Lectured by her again, aren't we? Every time. Oh, you're awake. Well, that's a relief. You passed out in front of your house again, weak and unable to move. I told you not to push yourself too hard, didn't I? I was really worried, you know. Anyway, I'm going home. Oh, and I took my doctor's fee again. All right, I got to be... I, I really got to stop, like... Risking it. There was no reason to risk that. We lost a good chunk of the day there. And it is what it is. Got a letter from Chris. All right, let me sort this inventory. All right, we got a little, little limited time just due to my death today, unfortunately. So we're gonna follow up on some letters and do some more side quests before we go back to the cave tomorrow. About Rosny, Estina. You remember Rosny? We met her at Arjean. Well, I just received a letter from her saying she wants to speak with me in Chateau. It could be a trap, but I can't ignore a request. I want to go on a meter, but would you come with me? If you try something, I'd feel safer with you there. I'll see you in Chitola for Messina. Okay. And Dim, it's about Cress. Cress really hasn't been looking good lately. I don't think she's taken a break in days. I heard what's been going on with the quiet, but she can't help her. So she can't help anyone if she keels over. Shall I need your help? Please say something to her, or even show her your face at the clinic. You gotta do something. All right. Let's go uh, stop by Cress at the clinic then, shall we? Bye bye. Bye bye. I kind of wish we had a teleport that was closer to the clinic, but this is what we get. Not too far, but a little annoying. Cress, where the heck are you? Oh, there you are. Hey. No, not you. Hey. Press, do you have a minute? Oh, Charlotte! When did you get here? I don't remember sending a letter. Dim asked me to stop by. Oh, so that's why. I've just been looking through my parents' research, and... Have you slept at all? 
I can't sneak anything past you, can I, Shala? It's been a few days since I got any sleep. But I'm racing against the clock here. You know that, right? I spent all this time reading through the research my parents left behind, and I haven't found a single thing. Why can't I find anything? You mind if I take a look? Sure, why not? I'm not having much luck on my own. Lend me a hand, Shala. If we combine our efforts, then we should be able to read through every shred of research in the clinic. You help Crest read through every shred of research in the clinic. So neither of us could find a single thing, huh? Not like I expected we'd find anything anyway. This can't be the end, can it? This must have been how my dad felt all those years ago. He fought and he fought, but it was never enough. I guess doctors can't cure everything. Charlotte, did you find something? That's... This is their diary, isn't it? Must have gotten mixed in with the rest of the research, but this isn't the time for light reading. We've got to find some clues. Should we at least look? See yourself. I could do with a break anyway. It looks like they started writing this before Dem and I were born. Just your run-of-the-mill diary. Any clues inside? I'm afraid not. Looks like they were pretty diligent with keeping their work and personal lives separate. Wait. What? They started writing about my mom's quiet diagnosis on this page. The typical diary entries start to, no to noticeably thin out from here. This is what we've been looking for, to think they kept writing this thing after moms fell ill. Hmm, wait a second. My mom requested a change in their medication. They went from searching for a cure to seeking relief from her symptoms. What does that mean? I think it means dad never gave up on his research. But that's not the important part. What did he mean by relief? I've never heard anything, heard of anything like that. Did they just stop looking for a cure? But a doctor is supposed to save lives. There's no way. That's what he did. You're right, but why? Try reading it to the end. I read it to completion and couldn't find any mention as to why. The final page was written on the day my mom passed away. I'll never forget that day. Mom softly put a hand on mine and my brother's cheeks. She must have been in so much pain, but she was calm, like she was pretending nothing was wrong. Wait, is that why he did it? Do you remember something? He probably wanted Mom's final days to be peaceful, to keep Dim and I from being sad. Did you spend your life fighting against the pain until your dying breath? Or do you find a way to forget that pain and face your final moments in peace? Which is better, I wonder? I can't imagine. I think that's normal. Even I don't know. There's something I need to do. Shala, I'm going to go and speak with the patient's family. Alone, are you sure? It's my duty as a doctor. It's something I have to do myself. I'll contact you if there's any developments. It might take some time before I find anything, so please be patient. From mom and dad. Wise man's root, nice. Good reward. Alright, on to the next one. We gotta go to Chitola. Talk to Cena. Let's go do that. Alright.
right, here she is up at the cliff, looking out over Shatola. He made it, Shala. So, as I said in this letter, Rosny got in contact and said she wanted to meet in person to discuss something. This is where she said to meet. What does she want to discuss? I don't know what her intentions were telling me us to come here. We have to be careful not to fall into any traps. You really don't trust me, huh? Rosny. I almost thought you weren't coming. You said you wanted to talk face to face. What is this all about? I said this last time we met, but just to make it clear, I have no intention of fighting with you. I'm not your enemy. If anything, I want to help you in whatever way I can. Do you really mean that? Come with me. The attacker should show up any minute now. What? How do you know? I'm guessing based on their behavior till up till now. It's up to you if you want to believe me or not. Uh. Well, Estina, are you all coming? Let's go, Shala. If Rosny's telling the truth, then this is our best shot at catching my imposter. Okay, ready. Follow me. Are you sure they're coming? The last time they were seen was in a cave near the capital. If they managed to slip out of the cave, then the most likely next place they'd hit is... Chitola. If their purpose is to attack people, then I'm sure they'll come here. Uh... I am the shadow. What was that? Did you hear that voice? I am the shadow assassin. Wow, you legit look like one. Why do you... Wait. It's another Astina. That's too good to be a disguise. Astina, what's going on? Don't ask me, I have no idea. Hmm, well, either way, you know what we have to do. Let's catch her! Finding out who she is can wait! What? Who are you exactly? Why are you attacking people? I am your shadow. I am the past you can't erase in all of your crimes. My past what? Huh? Ugh, smokescreen, she got away! Why are there two of you? I'd like to know that myself. You have any idea what's going on, Rosny? If I did, I would have told you yesterday. True. At least I should have proven to you that I'm on your side, though. Do you believe me now? Yes, for now. Good. Well, the attacker got away, and I don't think standing around here will solve anything. So I'm going to go home. I agree. We should go back to this another day. Is that all right with you, Shala? Well, then, it's decided. See you later. I'll get in touch if I find out anything. All right. I'll keep looking as well. Weird. I understand, like, the, uh, making them look like Asina, but how are they in shadow, true shadow form? Large poison core, shadow walker's bomb stone. Okay. Uh, is that all we had? Actually, I want to look in here and see how many more things we need. Hey, the kid, oh, the kid's still there. Let's see, how many Canelli dolls have you brought? Wow. Ooh, ten. He said he'd give us accessory synthesis jar recipe if we bring him 15. Accessory synthesis? What the what? Uh, how many did we bring him? 12. Okay. We need three more. Cool. Alright. Uh, I think that's it for here. Yeah, I would say so. All right. 
Oh, gonna kill some time doing some fishing until the day is over, and then tomorrow we can hopefully get back out to the, uh, the dungeon. Alright, time for bed. Time to close out the day. Go on to the next one. Nothing fancy there. Cosmo gym. I wanted to sell one of those to see what they're worth. 20 bucks. Nothing. What a bunch of junk. All right. Four days. Another letter from Asina. Nice. <clears throat> and a sill. Ooh, that might be our final quest with the sill. That'd be exciting. Sit. See you later. A chance to catch up. Nobody's seen another dragon since Otella left on her journey. You think things will finally calm down now? You and I haven't had a proper chance to catch up since all this started, have we? We should remedy that sometime soon. Why not stop by Namei next time you have a chance? Might be our closure on our story quest. Nice. Uh, Asina, she wants to talk about the attacker. But now it looks like our goals were aligned with Rosny's, which makes me feel better, but only a little. She contacted me again. Apparently, she's got something she wants to discuss with the attacker. She said she'll be waiting at Njord's step. Let's go and meet her there. Okay. Alright, let's take care of the farmly duties. Okay, back to good old Njord's step. Follow up with uh, this thing with Asina. Glad you could both make it. I'll get straight to the point. There's something I want to tell you about the attacker we've been looking for. Don't tell me. You figured out who she is? Not exactly, but I remember something that you should probably hear. What do you mean? Shadow always exists dormant within the self. Therefore, when the self wavers, the shadow takes over. Doubting yourself amounts to a death sentence. The only way to break free from the self-doubt is by controlling your shadow and becoming the master of yourself. Where did you hear that? I asked the chief about the power of your shadow once. That's what she said. Or that's what he said. Those were his words? Who's the chief? He was in charge of the organization. Just think of him as the leader. He's the one who took me in when I had no one. He raised me to be a member of the gang. I learned everything I know about fighting from him. But he never said those words to me. What does that all mean? What did he tell you? He was always worried about your shadow getting dangerously out of control. Out of control? I don't know what exactly he meant by that, but... My guess is he didn't tell you because he didn't want you questioning yourself even more. So he told me never to tell you, for your own sake. He didn't want me questioning myself. When the self wavers, the shadow takes over. So the attacker is my self-doubt? My shadow gone dangerously out of control? Is this what the chief was worried about? It's quite likely. If, if, if that's your shadow, then that would explain why she looks like an exact copy of you and calls herself the Shadow Assassin. So what now? Do we stop her rampage? That would probably get rid of her. But only a Cine can do it. My self-doubt. Do you think what happened that day has something to do with it? What day? So you haven't told her. Wait, Rosny. I'll say it. This is something she ought to hear from me. It still haunts me to this day. I'll never forget. It's etched vividly in my memory. The day I killed my fellow gang members with my own hands. They decided to rebel. Some members of the gang wanted to overthrow the chief. So a fight broke out between us. 
I was ready to die fighting to protect the chief and the organization he created. But I was fighting the very same people I'd been sent out on missions with. One by one, I stole their lives away. I don't blame you for looking at me that way. But Asina, if you didn't do what you did that day, the chief would have been killed. I would have been too, probably. I know, Rosny, but I'll never be able to wash the blood off my hands. When it was all over and I saw their bodies scattered on the floor, I knew I couldn't be one of them anymore. I killed my own teammates in cold blood. More than anything, I was scared of myself. That's why you left? You left without saying anything. At the time, that was my only option. It's ironic, really. I had to run away from the very place I fought so hard to defend. Cena. Well, Shala, now you know the kind of person I am. With blood on my hands, I look after the kids in the orphanage to try and make up for my crimes. The truth is, I don't deserve to live in Nemei. Sorry I kept quiet about this all this time. You must be disappointed now that you know the real me. No, that's not true. You are sweet, trying to console me. The shadow is made out of my self-doubt. Maybe you're right, Rosny. Ever since I was asked to take over the orphanage, I've been trying harder and harder to forget my past. That is what the chief meant about my shadow getting dangerously out of control. Cena. It's as if the brighter I try to shine, the darker my shadow gets. The closer I get to living in the light of the sun, the more painfully aware I am I become that I don't belong here. That that's why my shadow is trying to tell me. It's the personification of your guilt. Yeah, I guess it is. Maybe I don't belong here after all. What do you think you should do, Estina? I don't know. What I do now, what I do know is that shadow has been going around attacking people without my knowledge. And I'm going to have to face my past if I want to stop it. Shala, Rosny, could you give me some time? I need to think this through. Either way, it won't stop until you face your demons. So it's up to you now. I'm sorry I've caused you both trouble, but please stick by me a bit longer. Walk the sunlit path. Still got three to go there. Good crit hit rate though. Man, we can get up to 20% it looks like on that. That's crazy. All right, excuse me, level 12 noobs, get off me. All right, we're gonna continue on to uh, May and talk to a Sil. All right, here we are in May. it's time to talk to a Sil. Sil, I heard what you did. They say you saved the town from all those monsters that kept appearing. That's nice feeling safe enough to set foot outside my front door again. I knew I could count on you. Nothing makes me happier than knowing the townsfolk, townsfolk feel safe. Yeesh, loosen up a little and accept a compliment, will ya? You're not allowed. You're allowed to revel in the moment. <laughs> ah, Shala. Sorry, but I've got an appointment to keep with my friend. No worries. I'll see you next time. You're doing your rounds. If you're ever in need of an ear, you know you can come to me, eh? Thank you for waiting, Shala. Everyone looks pretty happy. That they are. All the drama seems to be finally to finally be dying all down around here. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Since you came all this way, why don't you head back to the observation deck? Not because I don't want anyone listening to our conversation, I just really like the view. Yeah, everybody does apparently. It's where we have to meet for everything. <laughs> I got a letter from Otella the other day. She said she was heading towards the sea. Although she seemed happy, just traveling around without a destination. Wonder if she'll ever come back. Good question. I always have the feeling she'll pop up out of the blue. But she's walking her own path now. 
Which means it's about time I did too. I've been worried about all this time about whether I have the strength to protect this world that Tiela loves so much like I promised. Like what Otella said was right on the mark. I wanted strength, immense power, strong enough to protect everyone we hold dear. I always thought I wasn't strong enough to do it. You need power to protect what you love. That is true. My way of thinking hasn't changed at all. But I noticed something. I can save the world around me, but the extent of my reach is still so small. But I can extend that range over time. I figured it out during all of that back and forth with Otella. If that's what I focus on, then I can increase the amount of I can protect bit by bit. I think that's what it'll take to keep my promise with Tiela. To save the world just like you do, Shala. First, you focus on what you can do. Even if I can only do one thing at a time by myself, I still won't give up trying. Do what I can to protect as much of this world as possible. I'll be here to help you. Thank you. But now I'm going to keep working with this Argus Brigade to look out after this town. I have so many memories I've made with all the different people here, after all. Shala, it took a lot of different experiences to get me to where I am now. Which is why I think each one of them has meaning. Meeting Tiela and the meeting Otella. Not to mention you and Estina. Parting with Tiela and the promise I made to her. I accept who I am for what I am, and one day, I'll bloom just as brilliantly as this cherry blossom tree. There's meaning behind everything I've been through to get to this point. I hope you'll keep fighting alongside me until that day comes. Yeah, you get an extra bonus for getting all the way. Not, not really. <laughs> it's pretty. I was expecting like a little extra something, but no. Nope. Cool though, we did finish the storyline for uh for Sil, so that's awesome. All right, but that's gonna be all we have in time for this episode. As always, thank everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.